Hello everyone. Today I will explain you about the concept of natural resources. And in this part, as we know that this part part is very broad. In this part, I will discuss about the land resources in detail. So before starting the topic natural resources, we should know what is a resource. How we can define a resource? A resource is a material, service, or information that is useful for living organisms, human beings. So that is a resource. Suppose I have this marker in my hand, and I am using this marker. So this is resource for me. But I if throw this marker outside the window from the room, then that is this is a waste. so if something that is useful that is simply resource and if we get that material or service directly from the nature that is the natural resource so now natural resources we can also define life supporting material which can be take from nature so this is all about natural resource definition different examples are there water resources food resources wood mineral resources mm -hmm. energy resources mm -hmm. all are the examples of natural resource now we can classify or divide natural resources broadly into two different categories first is renewable natural resources and second is non renewable natural resources renewable natural resources means which can be renewed and inexhaustible for example water forest air solar energy biomass energy so many examples are there next is non renewable natural resource non renewable natural resource means which can be which is exhaustible once exhaust it cannot be regenerated in near future so this is the non renewable natural resource examples we have fossil fuels petroleum products minerals nuclear fuels coal now let us begin the topic land resources so land resources is a major resource which comes under category renewable type of resource so land resources is a renewable type of resource nearly 20% of the earth surface is covered by land is occupied by land and quantitatively about 30 billion hectare of land surface or land resources are, we have 30 billion hectare now distribution how we can distribute land resources into different into different segments so here in this diagram i will show you tell you about the distribution of land resources so here you can see that 3% out of the total land resources we have 3% is covered by wetlands and lakes wetlands and lakes next 3% is covered by urban area where cities are there and covered by buildings industries urban area next 12% is covered by cropland cropland means utilized for agricultural activity that is 12% only next 26% is covered by permanent grassland means 26% of the land surface is occupied by permanent grasslands or permanent pastures in this next segment is that is occupied by forest so that is 26% of the total now remaining 30% is occupied by rocks desert ice glaciers so this is all about the distribution of land resources on the earth now in land resources i will tell you about the issues related to the land resources what are the issues related to land so here we have mainly three issues which are related to land resources first is the land degradation 
सेकेंड इज सोयल इरोजन एंड थर्ड वन इज डेजर्टिफिकेशन तो वन बाय वन आई विल टेल यू अबाउट ऑल दीज थ्री इशूज इन डिटेल सो लेट अस डिस्कस फर्स्ट इशू दैट इज लैंड डिग्रेडेशन वट डज इट मीन लैंड डिग्रेडेशन मीन्स और लैंड डिग्रेडेशन इज ए प्रोसेस इन विच द वैल्यू ऑफ बायोफिजिकल एनवायरमेंट इज अफेक्टेड बाय ए कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ह्यूमन इंड्यूस्ड एक्टिविटीज और नेचुरल एक्टिविटीज मीन्स इन सिंपल वर्ड्स वी कैन से दैट लैंड डिग्रेडेशन मीन्स इफ लैंड इज नॉट अ रिसोर्स फॉर ह्यूमन्स इट इज जस्ट लाइक ए वेस्ट लैंड पीस then we can say that land is degraded and so many reasons are there for the land degradation so as we know that near about 40% of the land cultivable land is seriously degraded by human induced activities now what are the causes for this degradation so here we have a list for different causes first is the urbanization urbanization means if urbanization is not properly designed planned that is the reason for land degradation second is deforestation forest plays a major role in the productivity of land resources maintenance of land resources so deforestation is the main reason for land degradation here in this we have a significant reason that is soil erosion soil erosion is one of the most significant factor which is responsible for the degradation of land resources particularly agricultural land next is over irrigation over irrigation means what does it means over irrigation means if we frequently irrigate a piece of land again and again and again and due to this over irrigation there is the accumulation of salts in that soil and that so high soil concentration would affect the productivity of the crop so that is also a cause for the land degradation next is natural disasters specifically floods and drought both are responsible for the degradation of land flood is responsible for soil erosion loss of top layer that is fertile and drought is responsible for desertification and in this last factor that is responsible for land degradation is environmental pollution soil pollution water pollution add up adding up of pesticides solid waste on land so all these are the factors which are responsible for land degradation the second problem that is related to land degradation is soil erosion so let us discuss the soil erosion as we know that soil erosion is the loss of topmost layer hai na loss of topmost layer from the soil that is soil erosion and this topmost layer is very fertile rich in nutrients so this is very important for agricultural productivity so but this process is natural process because wind water flood drought there are so many factors which cause soil erosion so we call this as a natural process here in this now the agents of soil erosion agents of soil erosion means the forces which initiate the process of soil erosion which cause soil erosion so here we have two main agents which are responsible for soil erosion one is water and second is air now in this factors what factors decide the rate of soil erosion soil erosion is different on different pieces of land so different factors which regulates soil erosion are first is climatic conditions condition is dry condition is wet what type of condition is there next is the structure of soil structure of soil means texture of the soil type of the soil chemical composition of the soil quantity of organic matter in the soil so this is the 
soil structure and the characteristics here third factor in this is the topography topography means what type of slope is there vegetation on the upper surface is there whether soil is nude or covered by vegetation whether the land of peace is plain horizontal or some slope is there so all these factors control or regulates the process of soil erosion all these factors control or regulates the process of soil erosion now most important part here what would be the consequences of soil erosion or what are the impacts of soil erosion so here we have mainly three impacts first is it reduces crop production or we can say that it reduces agricultural productivity due to the loss of nutrients from the uppermost layer of the soil second impact it lowers surface water quality surface water quality means lakes ponds where the loss of soil through soil erosion get accumulated in the water body and make water turbid so this is the second impact and the last impact of soil erosion is it damages the drainage network as it accumulates in drainage channels drainage pipes and lowers the quantity of to carry away the water quantity so this is all about soil erosion now the next issue that is related to land degradation is desertification so desertification i will explain you desertification in detail desertification is a type of land degradation in which relatively dry area of land becomes increasingly more arid and there is the permanent loss of water bodies that is simply desertification so desertification means dry land becomes more arid due to the loss of vegetation and water bodies due to drought due to the deficiency of rainfall that is desertification here you should understand what are the causes that leads to desertification so here we have mainly three factors which cause desertification first is climate change so now in present scenario climate change plays a very important role in desertification because climate change due to climate change and global warming temperature average global temperature is increasing day by day and which is responsible for more and more arid conditions in desert areas so due to this deserts are expanding year by year next is over exploitation of soil over exploitation of soil means intensive agricultural activity deforestation mining or any other developmental activity that also leads to desertification and the third factor third cause is loss of vegetation the so loss of vegetation may be due to deforestation may be due to forest fire or may be due to overgrazing by the animals so this is all about the land resources in next lecture i will explain you about the forest resources in detail thank you